Hello and welcome to a contact form a tutorial part two. In this tutorial we're going to be actually processing uh, the form. Obviously what we made in the previous tutorial was all of this. So when someone clicks submit form it's then going to take us to um, form underscore process dot php. So let's get on with it shall we? Okay let's move over to form underscore process and the first thing we need to do is session um, starts. Next thing we want to do is basically ask um, the browser has post submit been pressed if it has then it's going to do what's in here else uh, we're just going to shoot this person straight back over to um, index.php okay next thing what we're going to do is going to make a little uh, template of um, what we're going to use we're going to say if string length and we're going to say post is more than zero then it's going to do that else it's going to do that and the first thing that we're going to do is num equals num and up here we need to basically make a variable num equals zero I'll move on to that later and let you know what it means okay the next thing we're going to do is basically make a session equal to oops, post whatever um, is with inside here which we're going to then give the session of this one the value of this which you'll understand it later else or as well if there has been an error which you'll see later uh, we're basically going to unset this uh, session as well it's all pretty simple stuff okay else if the string length of post whatever is not more than zero then we're going to say session error and then the name of it is equal to you have not filled out a and then whatever the, the field is and we're also going to basically say num equals num plus one okay so we need to copy this um, three times one two three Let's just check quickly one two three four five okay so we need to do it one more time okay now what we need to do is basically type in here name copy this come to here come to here come to here come to here we have not filled out a name next surname copy this come to here and here and here Actually, this one is error surname. This one is error name. Let's not forget that. Okay, let's copy this again. Error surname. And oh, next one is phone. So copy this. Place that in there. Place that in there. Place that in there copy this, place that in there, you have not filled out a phone number ok next one is email ok place it in there in there in there, you have not filled out a email address Oops. email address and copy this, place it in there ok and then Comments should be the last one, I believe. Place that in there. You've not filled out a comment. Copy this. Place that in there. Okay, that's the last one. So that's pretty much all that done now. Now the last thing that we need to do is basically to to validate whether the num is equal to zero because that's what we want it to stay as and if num is equal to zero then we're going to um, process form basically and what we do is we'll just echo success just to show you else we're going to um, header again location index.php with all of these errors basically so uh, yeah, so if string length post comments is more than zero, num is equal to num. Uh, 
session comments equals post um, comments unset session error comments else num equals num plus one session error comments equals you've not filled out a comments so that should look like that okay next thing we need to do basically is uh, come back over to index.php and at the top we need to start a, a session first of all otherwise we're not going to be able to read any of the, the values that we've put in into our session so let's just tidy this up slightly okay and with inside this what we're just going to do up here is just a bit of space so you can see um, we're going to cut and paste this into all of them we're just going to make open up this and we're going to say if uh, is set and we're just going to basically ask if the session is set then this this and this then we're going to say echo this session okay that's basically it so if this session is set echo this session so let's uh, cut this and we're going to put this into this value here and we're going to paste this into here okay and then we're going to come into again into here and then into here and then here and here and email as well in here and in here website we're going to leave okay text area is here and then in here okay that's it pretty much done there next thing we need to do is just copy this and paste that into here and here and we just need to say error name okay and then surname I think you got the idea now so for the sake of time I'll do one more and for the sake of time you can do the rest but making sure that the last one has error underscore and then the name all right and we obviously need that in here as well that in here as well okay I'm going to pause the video and do the rest okay now that should be all, all of them done let's just check all of them done error email 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 phone phone error phone surname 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 yeah is that done error name 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 yes okay so that's all that done now now basically we should be able to test um, this form so if we just submit the form and as, as you can see it now nothing was filled out so you've not filled out a name and what have we got surname so let's come over to form underscore process let's find surname you've not filled out a surname and let's just not filled out a surname there you go okay so that's that pretty much done now obviously if we now fill out a name and press submit the error goes here and we come to this one and we fill it out again that one goes submit it again that one goes email address that one goes and the comments that one goes and it goes over to form underscore process and says success so we've managed to actually process this form okay I'm going to finish this tutorial here because that's it pretty much done we just need to uh, now make uh, the actual email uh, sending code so uh, if you're going to leave it there, my name is David Thorne. Um, you can contact me at www.thornwebdesign.de. I hope you enjoyed this part of the tutorial. I'll see you in the next part.